Ant colonies, often perceived as epitomes of cooperation, sometimes exhibit paradoxical behaviors like killing their own queen. This act of regicide is a complex, adaptive behavior influenced by ecological, social, and genetic factors. To understand why ants kill their queen, it's essential to delve into ant colony dynamics, the queen's role, and the evolutionary strategies involved. The queen is the primary reproductive individual, responsible for laying eggs that ensure the colony's growth and survival. She emits pheromones to regulate her offspring's behavior and development, maintaining colony cohesion and suppressing workers' reproductive abilities. However, when a queen's reproductive capabilities decline, workers may eliminate her to replace her with a more fecund individual. Genetic conflicts can also arise in colonies where the queen mates with multiple males, leading workers to favor raising their sisters over half-sisters. This kin selection can prompt workers to kill the queen to increase their own genetic representation. In colonies with multiple queens, Competition for dominance can lead workers to kill excess queens, ensuring that resources are directed towards fewer, more productive queens. Environmental stress and resource scarcity can also trigger queen killing, as reducing the reproductive burden helps the colony conserve resources. Additionally, parasitism and disease can weaken the queen, prompting workers to eliminate her to protect the colony. Queen regicide underscores the adaptive nature of ant colonies, balancing cooperation and conflict to maintain the colony's overall fitness. By eliminating a non-productive queen, the colony can redirect efforts towards raising a new, more productive queen. This behavior maintains the colony's size and genetic diversity, crucial for survival and competitiveness. Case studies illustrate these behaviors, Argentine ants regulate queen numbers under stress. Honey ants kill excess queens during colony establishment and red imported fire ants eliminate queens infected with pathogens. Mechanisms of queen execution include biting, stinging, isolation, and responding to changes in pheromonal profiles. Though brutal, queen killing is rooted in evolutionary imperatives of survival, genetic propagation, and resource optimization. Ant colonies, through millions of years of evolution, have developed behaviors to adapt to changing conditions. Queen regicide ensures the colony remains robust, genetically diverse, and capable of enduring challenges, highlighting the intricate balance of cooperation and conflict in ant societies. Through this lens, Queen killing emerges as a testament to the adaptive strategies that have made ants one of the most successful groups of organisms on the planet. The killing of a queen by her own colony might seem brutal, but it is a behavior rooted in the evolutionary imperatives of survival, genetic propagation, and resource optimization. Ant colonies, through millions of years of evolution, have developed intricate social structures and behaviors that enable them to adapt to changing environmental conditions and internal dynamics. Queen regicide is one such behavior that ensures the colony remains robust, genetically diverse, and capable of enduring various challenges. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.